What is up you guys? For today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Deluxe Mystery Box. And like, look at how big this is. Like, girl, it's not even fitting in my frame. Like, she is huge. But I don't know, there's just something about these mystery boxes that get me so excited. I feel like it's that part of like, unknowing like, what is in here. And also what gets me really excited about this one is that it has a mystery lipstick in it. Like, how cool is that? That Jeffree did like, a mystery lipstick that you can only get in these boxes. Which I think is just a really cool touch. But I don't know. I know a lot of you guys out there are really into mystery boxes like I am. I think they're just so cool, especially if you are looking to either like grow your collection or you are looking to like discover more of a brand. I feel like they're just a really great affordable option to do that. But either way though, if you like to see what is in my box, then just stay tuned on watching. However, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten. And on Instagram, I post seven days a week with a ton of tutorials over on there if you are looking for some inspiration. Scentsy Girl is a packaging whore, like literally I cannot get enough of packaging. I just want to briefly go over the box itself. It's this beautiful kind of like tangerine, kind of like creamsicle orange, which I think is like literally perfect for summer. And then on the box itself printed is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo with a cute little question mark, which is a very standard design that he has for his mystery boxes. And I will say though too, this box costed me $75, which is pretty up there honestly for a mystery box. And then I also had to pay $9 in shipping. And I want to say though with that too, I bought my box on Friday and it just arrived today which is Tuesday so it definitely came in a very short amount of time which I really appreciate. But girl though, I am so excited to see what is in this box. Like you guys have no idea. Like I have been purposely avoiding like YouTube videos and making sure that I don't go on like the Jeffree Star Cosmetics hashtag because honestly, I do not want it wrecked for me. And a lot of people when they get the box, they always take a picture and have to upload it right away. And it's like, girl, give me a couple days to get mine because I don't like it when people ruin the surprise. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but I don't know. I don't like it even like with like movies and books. It just irritates me when people always have to ruin it for you. But right now though, like I just just want to share with you guys like what I got inside and the first thing that I see is some cute pink tissue paper which is a really nice touch so this shit doesn't break in shipping because my mailman breaks a lot of my stuff and the first item that I see in here is this velour liquid lipstick in the shade celebrity skin which is one of the ones I don't actually have so I'm really excited that I haven't gotten one yet that I already have in my collection but this is actually one I have wanted for a really long time, but I've always been on the fence if it would work on my skin tone. But like, ooh, that's pretty. And I do want to swatch it though too. Let's take the sniff test too. It has kind of like a scent to it, but it's not like crazy, which I hate. Is that root beer? Oh, it smells like root beer. I always forget that he has root beer scented lipsticks. Dang, that smells really good. Now let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that is so pretty. Why didn't I pick that shade up earlier? Like, girl, like that is gorgeous. Ooh, I am so excited to use this one. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, this with like a dark brown lip liner or like a dark mauve liner. Oh my gosh, like I would literally live for that. I'm like literally sitting here like crossing my fingers hoping I don't get like any duplicates to the other boxes that I already bought. But the next item that I got was another uh, Velour Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade Poinsettia. This is another one I don't have actually. I believe this is a shimmery red. I'm assuming so because it is kind of like a Christmas one. Ooh, girl, like that's pretty. I don't have any red metallic lipsticks in my collection, so I'm actually really excited about that one. This one would be like perfect for like Valentine's Day or like Christmas. See what she looks like. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, but it's also kind of sheer at the same time. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's do another layer. I don't know how I feel about that one. That's kind of sheer. I feel like this one would be good maybe on top of like Unicorn Blood or like Red Rum. But again though, like I don't like having to apply like two liquid lipsticks to get like one to work. But I don't know, I don't know how that works on my lips though, so I'm not going to put much of an opinion on it yet. Girl, when I was doing my makeup this morning, I decided I wanted to do like the full on like glam like Instagram type of look. So I decided to do like cream contouring and I am obsessed with how my face looks right now. Like I normally don't do like this much sculpting, but like I just think it looks so pretty and I just really enjoy how it looks, especially on camera. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but a lot of times I don't do things I enjoy just because it takes so much more time to do. But maybe I should start taking the extra 20 minutes to do it because I am shook beyond belief how much I like it. 
So the next item that I got in my box was another pop socket, just like all of the other mystery boxes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. However, this one is a beautiful kind of like that tangerine, creamsicle orange. It is literally the color of the box itself. And I'll be dead ass honest, I am really sick of pop sockets. And I think it's just a me thing because I know a lot of people out there really enjoy them. But I have tried like one pop socket, two pop sockets, and they just don't work out for me. So I will definitely be giving this one to a friend of mine. Ooh, I think I feel a lip liner, which is getting me really excited because I really love his lip liner formula. I think it is amazing. And let's see. Yep, I got a lip liner. And this one is in the shade Androgyny. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is my all-time favorite lipstick from him, that in human nature. Like, I could, like, wear those, like, every single day of my life, and I would, like, literally die happy. And I just want to see the color of it because I'm really excited. I actually got my original uh, Androgyny lipstick like the first time it launched. So I have like that cool like white package top which I think is really cool. The only thing I hate about these is like opening them because I don't know they just have some like weird ass packaging to them like how am I supposed to open this? I mean I know you're supposed to break the seal but I ain't about that like. And then here is the cute packaging. I also got a lip liner in my other box and I really love that one. That one was in the shade Posh Spice. And I just think that the packaging is so cute. I really enjoy it. Now let's see what the color is. Ooh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I cannot wait to use it. I will definitely be using the shit out of this color because I love it so much. There is one thing I do not like about these lip liners and I just want to show you guys what I mean. But how you can tell the shade name on these is that there's a sticker right here. And unfortunately the sticker on these is super shitty and mine's already about ready to come off which is really annoying because this is brand new. So if you throw this in your makeup bag with other items there's a high chance that sticker is going to come off and then you're not going to know what shade it is. And for the price of this lip liner it like as a retail value it really honestly should be printed on here. So that is definitely my biggest complaint about these. I'm like literally like reaching into my box like ooh what should I grab next? So the next item that I grabbed was another Velour liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Diva. I don't have this one either. Ooh that is pretty. It's a beautiful kind of like Barbie like hot pink fuchsia shade. Ooh that is gorgeous. I'm just gonna shake her up a little bit because I can see it just needs to be shaked. So I do want to do a smell test because I'm always curious. Oh, that doesn't smell like anything, which is actually a good thing. I don't always like scented products because they can get a little overwhelming. And let's see what she looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. That is like a literal, like beautiful shade for summer. Like, girl, that is gorgeous. Ooh, I can see myself using that a lot. It really kind of reminds me of this one shade I have from MAC. I'll put it in like right here for you guys if I can figure out what it is. It's one of the retro mattes. I feel like it's all fired up. I'm not 100% sure, but like, whew, I love that shade. I can see myself using that like a fuck ton in summer. So the next item that I grabbed was a Velour Lip Scrub. Ooh, I've never tried one of these before, but I've heard amazing things about them. And this one is in the shade Rainbow Sherbert. I don't know if you guys say that, like Rainbow Sherbert or Rainbow Sherbet. I always say Sherbert, which I know is totally inaccurate. But I'm really curious about these because I've heard so many great things about these, especially from my good friend. Ooh, that's cute. I really love the packaging. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'll get it up close so you guys can see it too. But isn't that pretty? I really love this like gunmetal kind of detail on the top here. I'm really curious to see how these open too because I've never used one before. Oh, so that's actually pretty easy. Oh my gosh, that smells so good! Oh my gosh, like literally I'm living for this. And I'm just gonna put it right here under these because I already have lipstick on so I'm not gonna try it out yet. But it's very gritty. It really reminds me of like a homemade sugar scrub when you put like too much sugar in it. I actually expected these to have a little bit more oil to them for how like people talk about them, but I don't know. Ooh, I, I seriously cannot get over the scent of it. It kind of reminds me of like Sweet Tarts in a way, more than Rainbow Sherbert. Ooh, I, I'm actually really excited to see how this works. I really want to try it out later tonight when I take off my makeup. Now I know these aren't food, but I'm going to try it because why the hell not? Holy shit, that tastes really good. <laughs> like, I almost want to just eat it instead of use it for my lips. But I know that is totally bad. I'm not going to do it, but you know what I mean. Like, dang, that's good. Like, Jeffrey, why do you have to make it taste good? Like, you're going to make me want to eat it all. 
Ooh, we got a highlighter. I'm really curious to see how this one looks. This one is in the shade Money Honey, and it is a Supreme Frost. I have the peach one, which I got in my last box, and honestly, I do not like that one at all. It's really kind of like glittery and messy, and it just doesn't want to adhere to my face, which is kind of annoying. So I'm really hoping that this one's better. Ooh, that color though. Like, bitch, that is so pretty. I'm thinking about using this one maybe with the Alien palette. And I will say though too, the packaging of these is to die for. Like, it is so beautiful. And let's open her up. Ooh, that color though. Bitch, I'm so excited. Let's go right on the star to see how this swatches. Ooh, that's really pretty. I don't know how it's gonna work for my skin tone personally since I'm so fair. I'll show you guys what I mean, but you see like that green and like gold and like almost like a copper. Like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I feel like if you have like a deeper skin tone, you will absolutely love this one if you get it. So the next item that we got in our box was a metal straw, which I think is really cool. I personally love metal straws. I use them all the time. And what is a really cute little detail is there's a little turtle down here because save the turtles and fuck plastic straws. And the straw itself is a really pretty kind of like pinky coral shade. It's absolutely stunning. So I cannot wait to wash this and then see how it works. So I just washed the straw off camera and I'm just going to dump it right into my pot because you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Okay, I really like this straw. I want to just like take a moment. Like I am really fucking picky with my metal straws because I don't like those like thick ones. They drive me absolutely nuts like when the straw itself is like too big. And this one is literally so perfect. It's like a little bit on the thinner side. So if you are like me and you'd rather use a more thinner straw, highly recommend checking these ones out. So the next item that I got in my box was a clothing item. And for me personally, I always get mine in a size medium. I just feel like they fit a lot better and I just like that oversized look. And if you were curious on his sizing, um, it kind of goes at the same as like a guy's t-shirt. So for me, like when I get band t-shirts, I always get them in a medium because I like that like oversized kind of like grungy look. But I could definitely wear a small. I just like a medium a little bit better. And I will say though too, I have two of his other shirts and they have like the nicest quality to them. They don't wash out. They have, they're like super soft too. So the shirt that I got in my box was the Hi How Are You part of the 420 collection. And oh my gosh, I love this shirt so much. I don't smoke, but I really enjoy like the neon green text with the black. I think it's so cool. And then on the back, it just has the um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo in neon green as well. But I don't know, there's just something about his t-shirts. Like, they are amazing quality, and I just really enjoy them. They're super soft. And I'm just really excited that I got a black shirt, because I only wear black and, like, really dark colored shirts. So I'm just really excited to wear this one. And last but not least, the last item that we are going to be going over is the Mystery Velour Liquid Lipstick that was only exclusive to these mystery boxes. And I'm really excited because it's supposed to be a pinky kind of, like, nude shade. Bitch, that neon green top though, I am living for it. And not to mention like this color, like girl, that is pretty. It won't go with the look I have on right now, but like I can see myself absolutely loving this. It is a lot more pink than I was expecting because to me this isn't really a nude, this is more of a pink. But still, dang, that is gorgeous. And let's just shake this baby up before we swatch it. And there's just something about his Velour Liquid Lipstick formula that I really enjoy. It's one of my all-time favorite formulas just because it is just so easy to wear on the lips. It's not like crumbly and it just really looks nice and it lasts all day. And I'm just really excited to see what this shade looks like because it's a mystery. But let's see what she looks like. Dang, that's pretty. It's kind of almost like a rosy shade. As you can see, it's a really pretty kind of like pinky nude. Definitely has that like pretty like rose undertone. I can see anybody with any skin tone enjoying this color. Ooh, I forgot to do the scent test, but this one doesn't have a scent either, which I really appreciate. I'm not the biggest fan of even the Rip Your scent, if I'm honest. It's just not my thing. So I'm definitely appreciative that this one doesn't have a scent to it. So after unboxing all 10 of the items in this box, I can definitely say this is by far my absolute favorite mystery box from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. In the past, I have gotten both of the deluxe mystery boxes that he has had available, but for some odd reason, those ones just had like an old product kind of feel to them, whereas this one doesn't for me. Like this one actually has like a summer vibe to it, and I just see myself using a ton of the products that I got in this box. But with that though, I do want to give you guys kind of like my thoughts and opinions about the box. 
Even though I'm really excited about my box, there are a couple of items that I just do not see myself using. And first of which, that is the Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Poinsettia. When I swatched this one, it was so patchy. And I don't know, there's just something about the formula that I do not like. I will definitely probably be keeping it because I don't have anything similar in my collection. And I can see myself maybe using it like on Christmas or like Valentine's Day. But other than that, I'm just not the biggest fan of the formula. And another thing, just like I said earlier, was the pop socket. I just don't like pop sockets. They are not my thing. So I will definitely be giving this to one of my friends that really enjoys them. But other than that though, like I am really excited about the other items that I got in my box. Like you guys have no idea, like I am so excited to use them. And a lot of times when I get mystery boxes, it's like, am I actually going to use these or am I like wasting my money? But with this box, I don't have any of those kind of like feelings towards it. The other two boxes, I kind of like regretted it after I got them. But this one, I don't at all. I think it's actually a really nice box. And I'm really excited to use these two Velour Liquid Lipsticks. The uh, question mark one, I don't know what you would call it, the mystery lipstick. And also Celebrity Skin because both of these just look so pretty and just totally up my alley and I cannot wait to use them. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the items that I got in my box. I know for me personally, I'm just really excited about them. And also in the comments, let me know what you got in your box if you did pick up one because like, let's be honest, they're all different, which is a really cool thing about mystery boxes. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.